lot of snow was melting from my neighbors and they, I all say to my neighbors, you can send your water, but don't rush. But that's the problem. The expectation is more water in the future. So that means we have to adjust also our river system again. So, for example, take obstacles away, then we can dredge the riverbed so you can process more water. But even that, in the future, will be not enough. So we create bypass channels and uh, can direct the water to another location. Mm -hmm. And building more reservoirs. Uh, so that's a way to prevent cities and villages from flooding. So give some land back. So it will not benefit everybody, but you have to come to the country and make it flood proof for the next uh, few generations again. NAP, normal sea level rise. Pull the land, yeah, that's 40%. So we have to pump also constantly the water out. It starts to rain, you can pump some harder. But even there, there is a limitation to that. For example, this area, the water board of Delfland, they have 103 pumping stations. But even then, it's on some points, it's not enough. So that's why we build on uh, small scale flood areas so we can direct the water into that. And so we create more nature. And only sometimes you flood it with the water. Um, lucky for us, we have a storm period, not period of which to threat for more uh, river water. But we are also busy with the scenario if, in the future, by the climate change, these events happen at the same time. The water comes from four sides. It's in our soil, falling from the sky, the threat is from sea and the rivers. So if you push this red button over there, high water flow.